So we're coming to you live from the 10th Annual Oklahoma Heart Research and Education Foundation's Arrhythmia Symposium, the Heart Rhythm Symposium. And with me today is Dr. DJ Lacaretti. Dr. Lacaretti is the director of the EP program at KU, Rock Chalk Jayhawk. Rock Chalk Jayhawk. Excellent. So <laughs> last week you were in the news for publishing about the benefits of yoga in atrial fibrillation. So can you start by just telling us how could yoga influence atrial fibrillation? Well, if you really look at it, uh, atrial fibrillation has a significant mind-body connection to it. Keeping aside the regional risk factors in a, in a heart, uh, there is a significant amount of feedback that, that is mediated through the autonomic nervous system, which results in the obvious triggering effects of what we see in a paroxysmal episode of atrial fibrillation. So if you really look at the timeline of a paroxysm, there is usually a significant systematic increase in the sympathetic tone up until a few seconds before the atrial fibrillation episode happens and then there is a paradoxical withdrawal of this and an exaggerated parasympathetic response before that. So the way yoga works in these episodes is by taking away these extreme fluctuations in the sympathetic tone and thereby modulating the cardiac autonomic tone that results in these paroxysms. And if you look at the long-term effects of yoga, there has been uh, phenomenal data that has come out looking at how yoga can improve the endothelial uh, fun dysfunction, how yoga can result in reduction in blood pressures, uh, and the overall systemic inflammation, oxidative stress, and those type of factors. So I think yoga can help atrial fibrillation both in the acute process as a triggered effect, and it can also uh, influence the uh, evolution of the atrial substrate and thereby modulate the evolution of paroxysmal to more persistent forms of arrhythmia. Okay, so that's the theory. What did you see? How did you do your trial? What were your results? Uh, I mean, we took 52 patients who had paroxysmal atrial fibrillation. We put them, uh, we followed them for three months with event monitors, and we assessed their uh, arrhythmia burden uh, based on these event monitors. We gave them a quality of life questionnaire before and after, and we also assessed their anxiety and depression scores as well, because most of the times people with AFib have these two predominantly play out. After three months, we switched them to a systematic yoga regimen of about 45 minutes, a minimum of two sessions a week. And patients were encouraged and allowed to do more than two sessions if they can. And what we found was at the end of three months, there was about a 40% reduction in the number of episodes of atrial fibrillation. There was a, a significant decrease in the systemic blood pressures. Uh, we also found that their overall quality of life scores significantly improved. So all in all, I think it's sort of a more holistic, cumulative benefit that one gets by the reduction of the arrhythmia as well as a benefit on the central nervous system. 40% less AFib with yoga alone. Yoga alone. That's pretty impressive. Now, these are yoga naive patients? Uh, these are yoga naive patients, obviously. How long did it take yoga naive patients to get the benefit? Did they get it right away from the first yoga session or did it take time for them to be able to relax? I, I think relax? what we found was the first week people were not sure what was going on. The second, third, fourth weeks. I think by the time they hit the fourth week mark, a lot of people were very encouraged with the fact that they feel much better in their head. They're more motivated to do things. And so I think it kind of plays sort of both at, at a very central level, at the same time working at a more regional level. Well, that's great results. I really congratulate you. Thank you. Great trial. Thanks. Congratulations. All righty. Thank you guys very much.